Please welcome the beautiful and talented Vanessa Hudson. Okay, so wait a minute. Let me get my question right. Um, <laughs> so beautiful. Uh, we were talking about Howard Stern and David Letterman yeah. earlier. Have you ever experienced an uncomfortable kiss? Yeah, I was actually walking out of a talk show and there was a fan and she was like, Vanessa, I just love you. And I'm like, oh, thank you. And she's like, can I have a hug? And I'm like, yeah. I give her a hug and next thing I know, she's like starting to make out with my neck. And I was like, oh my, oh my God, what is going on? And I was like, okay, I gotta go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that was interesting. Was it the same person who wanted the breast bump? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> that was bold. Yeah, it was. It was. She was ballsy. Yeah, right? Seriously. <laughs> now, um, Vanessa, you were just 18 when you were thrust into the public eye with the incredible success of High School Musical. So young. I was actually 16. 16? Yeah. Oh, wow. 16. Yeah. Really? So, how did you cope with all of that attention in your in your private life? You just kind of figure it out. I mean, I was so lucky because the high school musical cast was like a family. Mm -hmm. Like, we were so closely knit. So we had each other to lean on because I don't think if it, if it wasn't for them, it would have been tough because there's just so much happening. You're experiencing so many new things. And mm -hmm. just to have a friend there by your side makes it easier. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, you, obviously one of the things that people really focused on at the time is that you were dating your co-star, mm -hmm. Zac Efron, at the time. And, <laughs> oh, yeah. To focus on these celebrity relationships, but you actually gave an interview where you you said that you felt like a mean girl when you were dating Zach. <laughs> yeah, well, it was just it's like one of those things where if you have people coming up to you all the time and like you're just trying to go get a coffee and you're in sweatpants and you're with your boyfriend, it's like you want to just be able to experience and like life. live your life. Yeah. Yes. And then when I would see people you wear like yoga pants, you don't wear sweatpants. <laughs> when, when I would see people coming up to me, like girls like starting to make, the, you see the faces, you right. see the recognition happen, and I would literally just go. <laughs> <laughs> to live my life and then I realized that's not the way to handle it. But wasn't it because fans are so supportive. It wasn't it always because they were like kind of after your boyfriend. Well no I mean I think as a woman you shouldn't be in a relationship if you're not secure. Mm -hmm. There you go. So. <laughs> now a Hollywood icon Audrey Hepburn the gorgeous Audrey Hepburn mm -hmm. she played the role of Gigi in the original 1951 Broadway show. Yeah. Then Leslie Caron portrayed Gigi in the Oscar-winning 1958 movie. Now this revival of Gigi on Broadway has taken things to new heights. I mean the choreography was so intense that it forced you to get over your fear of heights? Yeah. Well, I showed up my first day to work at the rehearsal space, and he was like, okay, what should we do? Josh Bogos, he's amazing. What should we do? Maybe, like, pick her up, put her on your shoulder, run over here, you fall back into these other guys' arms, and then they'll throw you up, and then you'll land. And I'm like, you want me to do what? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Because I don't know. I didn't sign up for this. Um, but sure enough, like, after a couple of times of squealing every time they picked me up, uh, I'm get used to it. <laughs> and Vanessa, you wore some amazing costumes yeah. in the show, but how difficult was it to move around in those tight, long gowns? It's, uh, very interesting. <laughs> it's like a minefield. You're on the stage and there's just trains everywhere. You're like, don't step there, don't step there, don't step there. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's really incredible to think about the fact that women used to wear these dresses every mm -hmm. day and that's how they live their lives but I've definitely stumbled a few times oh, yeah. like my feet have done me wrong many times <laughs> <laughs> been in the wrong place yeah oh, yeah we managed to get a, a sneak peek uh, look at your dressing room backstage and we see that flowers that you get uh -huh. you like to keep them you let them dry and hang yeah. them upside down mm -hmm. and we know how much you love lilacs and we wanted to give no! you a little gift oh! and hopefully there'll be a special so spot in your dressing room oh. so we want to say thank you for coming on here thank you for killing it every night break a leg tonight <laughs> thank you yeah. Gigi at the Neil Simon Theater. The ticket information.
information, go to thetalk.com. We'll be right back.